Hello, good, good evening. Good evening, Mauricio. Good evening, Michelle. Good evening. Hi, Michelle, can you hear me? Yes, and you? Yes, now I can hear you. Okay. okay. How, good evening, Michelle, how are you? I'm fine, thanks, and you? Not too bad, not too bad. Yes. And um, Rosa, good evening, how are you, Rosa? I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> good, good. I'm glad to good see evening. you. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Eduardo. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good to see you. Um, hi, Carla. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Not bad, pretty good, pretty good, yes. Um, just a little tired, I had a, I, I had a bit of an exhausting day, but you know, it's not bad, it's not bad at all. I can't, I really can't complain. Yeah, uh, welcome uh, Isael, how are you? Hi, Sal, can you hear me? Maybe he's having trouble. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, Marvin. Okay, well, welcome, Janet. How are you, Janet? How are you, I'm Janet? Teacher. I'm fine, thank you. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, well, everybody, I'm glad to see you one more time. Um, eh, before we, well, actually, no, no, I want to wait until everybody's here. I'm going to be passing the, the um, the the poll in a moment but before anything i want to know um anybody had problems with the homework or did you understand it teacher i couldn't do my homework oh what happened you said did, you didn't understand it for my work, I couldn't do. Oh, okay. So you, what you mean is that you didn't have time to do it? Or that you didn't understand it? For time, teacher. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, um, try, if possible, um, try, like, I mean, we're, we're going to be, you, the idea was, with these exercises was for you to use the sentences um, to do an activity in class. So you are probably not going to be able to do the complete idea, the, the complete activity. But try to do your best, okay? Um, did anybody have problems with the homework? Yes, teacher. 
you had problems, Eduardo, with the homework? I can use you said the long, how long, uh, how talk, and how old, how old is the holders, but the how long is the appearance. But in the exercise, um, show me bad the answer. Okay, um, I think you're talking about the platform, Eduardo. Are you talking about the platform? Because what I'm referring to is the homework that I assigned the the five the five sentences about the people. Yes. Um, did you have problems with that? Like, remember um, that I sent a picture uh, in the WhatsApp group? Do you remember that? I don't know, can the uh, chat in my uh, screen? Okay, do, do you know moment? what I'm talking about, Eduardo? Because I am talking about the homework that I that I assigned you to do um, about the description of the people in the yes. picture. This is I'm going to share with you the picture that I'm talking about. So this remember that I sent you this this picture. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I'm talking about this homework. Did you have problems with this homework, Eduardo? Excuse me? Did you have problems with that homework? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Um, you can show me what is the problem. My problem is that I don't I don't know the conjugation the 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 terms in the how long in the whole how old are you and uh, how talk. No, there is no questions in this in the sentence that I the home for homework. There were no questions that you had to make. You just had to create the sentences, okay? Okay. Um, uh, let, me, let, me, let me give you an example so that you understand what I'm talking about, okay? Um, let me just give, give me a moment. Um, give me one second. Teacher. Yeah. Can I tell you my homework? One example? Sure. Um uh, hold on. Okay. Just give me a give me a mo one moment and then you will okay. share your sentence with me. Okay. So everybody can see right now on my board I have the picture. Can you see that? Yes. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Janet, and give me your sentence. Okay. It's about the second person, the left to the right, and the first row. He. Yeah. Okay, and okay. he has a short, wavy black hair. He is young, a handsome boy, and a fair skin. Only that. Okay, just, just say that a little bit slower so I can write okay. it down. He has a short, wavy black hair. And he's young, a 
a handsome boy? And a uh, and fair skin. And fair skin. Okay. Um, Only that. Good, good, good. Excellent. Just the last one, maybe um, because you already said he is a young, handsome boy. I'm going, uh, because you already put the boy here at the bottom, it would be better to say he has fair skin. He has fair skin. Okay. All right. Um, is that okay? Teacher, I I I can read my my sentence um, for correction. Um, sure, sure, but right now I'm, I'm just right now I'm not checking each one. I was just showing you the example, okay, so that you could you could know what, what to do. Just remember, for example, with this one, um, he has. Uh, Jan Janet, you said he has a short, you put the word a, but when we're talking about hair, we can't say a. It's not possible to use the word a. Why? Okay. Because hair is not possible to count. Okay? Um, we can't count hair. If you count, if you say uh, a short wavy black hair, Significa que tiene un pelo que es corto, ondulado y, 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 es, y negro. Un solo pelo. Ok. Y, it's possible, but I, I don't think, <laughs> I don't think it's, it's, I mean, yeah, I don't think it sounds very good, ok? So that's why it's better to limit the A, uh, ok? And say, just simply say he has short wavy black hair okay and um and you say he is a young handsome boy this one yes because he is a, a boy okay uh, although I, maybe i wouldn't say he's a boy he looks a little too old to be a boy he looks more like a man to me right Maybe this guy, maybe he's a boy. He might be like, I don't know, he looks like maybe 16, 17. So maybe he's a boy, but this guy looks a little bit older. He's He looks like he's in his late 20s or early 30s, okay? And then here he says, he has, el tiene, um, piel clara, right? So he has, not he is, he has, okay? So, um... So this is, okay, so Eduardo, this was the way you had to do the homework. So if you notice, Eduardo, there are no questions for the description, no questions. Okay, does that make sense, Eduardo? Eduardo, is it okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. All right. Um, okay. Good, good, good. Um, let's see. Um, okay. So what we're going to do um, is we're going to now work in pairs. Oh, no. Yeah, let's work in pairs. Okay. No se me vayan, por favor. Okay, um, we're going to work in pairs, and what you're going to do is you're going, oh, okay, wait, uh, you're, you're going to, I'm going to actually share the picture again. Let's go back to this picture. Okay, so I imagine Janet gave me this description, and he says, he is, has short, wavy black hair, he is a young, handsome boy, and he has fair skin. So what I have to do if, okay, so if, if Janet is my partner and she gives me this description, what I have to do is I have 
to guess which picture it is. What is the picture? Which one, which man is he? Is, uh, so we have all, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six men. All right, so six men. So from the six men, who who is she talking about? And I'm going to guess who it is, okay? So from the description, don't tell your partner who the person is. Just give them the description and they're going to guess from the description who it is. Does that make sense? Do you understand? Yes. Okay, so the instructions are clear, right? ¿Están claras las instrucciones? Yes, teacher. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to ask you to go to your groups. Um, let me open up the groups right now. Um, let's see, we'll have... Okay, I'm opening the rooms right now. Go ahead and join your, your partner. que ella nos, nos, nos dio. Sí, sí. Eh. Ok. Sabe. Um, un momento. Um, sorry, sorry. Okay. Do you have any questions? Um, teacher, um, is a uh, description the person uh, any pairs? Yes, you're going to describe, you're going to read to Mauricio the sentences of the description, of the descriptions that you made, right? And Mauricio is going to guess if the, if the, the, who the people are. Yeah? So you, he's going to guess who you are describing. Okay. Do you understand? O sea, usted le va a leer a Mauricio en su descripción. Y okay. Mauricio se va, va entonces a adivinar a quién se a, a quién, quién está usted escribiendo. Pero es, en ese caso, teacher, es de la fotografía que usted mostró. Sí, de la, la tarea. Ok. Ok, Mauricio. Mm. The person is um I teacher sorry the person is uh don't 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 say who it is don't say who it is just describe the person se lo va a escribir a la persona y él va a adivinar quién es so no le diga quién es 
Pero la duda que tengo es, este, ay, no sé, teacher, estoy un poquito confundida en esto. Es como de... Por de ejemplo, la, ajá. Isabel. Sorry, Mauricio. Por ejemplo, Isabel. Pero. Entonces, ella, entonces ella, me, ella me va a decir cuál de la foto es. Sorry, Mauricio. Could you repeat what you said a little bit louder? He has beer. Beer. Oh, he has a beard. Yes. Beer. He has a sí. beard. Él tiene un, una, barba. Un, ah. ¿Cómo es? Una, una barba. Barba. Okay, good. So, yes. And you will exactly. And then Jacqueline is going to guess who it is. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay Jacqueline, um, do you understand? Yes. Sí, solo que y en ese caso para saber cuál eh, de, de los que aparecen ahí, ¿verdad? Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, correct. The ones that are in the picture, yes. Okay. Um, the person has, she has, oh, well, uh, she has um, uh, eyes, um, brown eyes, and she has um, long hair. I have a, I have a, for daughter. Um, my third daughter um, is uh, is uh, my my third daughter has a long black long black hair long. Long black straight hair. Okay. Uh, Ana, 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 eh, okay. The, the sentences are good, but the 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 exercise is to show the picture. So you have to you you are going to describe somebody in the picture that we have here. Okay, this picture here. Ah, okay, okay. It's here, and your partner is going to guess who is the person. Okay. Okay. Who is the person? Ah, o sea, usted escribe, usted escribe ahí al a, a la persona y Carla va a adivinar a quién. Está describiendo quién es la persona que usted está describiendo. Ah, ok. okay. Pero, pero Carla, ¿tienes tú las fotos? No. It's in the WhatsApp group. Yes. Uh, she has short hair and very curly. She has Sure, her and very curly. Okay, she has mm. short curly hair. Or she, she has short, she has very short curly hair. De un solo se dice. Yeah. She has short curly hair. Eh, no, no se puede decir, eh, she has eh, short, short hair and very curly, que es muy colocha. No, no, because, um, and very curly what? So they have to put, the adjectives have to go together. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm, you're welcome. 
she has short curly hair. Um, ¿Tú adivinas cuál es? No tengo la imagen. No tenés el teléfono. Uh, the, are you in the group, in the WhatsApp group? Yes. Hoy entonces tú, Carla. No, I mean Carla. Ay. Are you in the WhatsApp group, Carla? Ahorita, ahorita. Ahorita lo tengo. Are you, are you still in the WhatsApp group? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, I'm going to go and help other people. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Dylan, yeah, cuarta columna. Right, second row and fourth column. Ah, okay, okay. It's, 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 it's very difficult. Yes, it me cuesta. <laughs> Pero ahí vamos. <laughs> okay, my example. Mm -hmm. okay. And she has short, wavy brown hair. I think that she's a middle eight. She, um, she's beautiful, I think that. And with a great smile. She, in her, she has in her bodies and very fair skin. I think that Great smile. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you say cool hair. I think that is cool. Wavy, wavy, wavy brown. And the, the, the hair brown and the second color. The first? The, no, the second row. No, the, the, um, third, the third row and the second color. No. The class or the, the old people? I don't know. Or is my friends? Yes. Oh, really? My friend tell tell me, whoa, oh. you are dog. But my friend, wow. um, at the at the later people is short. Mm. Is a little, mm -hmm. a little people. Yes. Well, there you go. In my world, I had a, a companion very tall. Only is yes. the one guy. Is the one guy in, in my. Do you play basketball? Job. Sorry. Do you play basketball? Yeah. Do like you it. play basketball? Yeah, I like it. Okay. But my favorite sport is the, the cycling. Okay. My favorite sport is basketball. Mm. This is good. It's good basketball. Yes. Guys, yes. congratulations for making a very good talk in English. Excellent. Now, um, how are you doing with the exercise of describing people? Mm, teacher, I the question for, let me see, despeinado, I don't know, it was tossled. 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 Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And... I remember for the peinado teacher. <laughs> peinado arreglado, como se dice. Peinado. Mm. Sí. Combed. Okay, well. well combed. Well combed. Combed. Well combed. Well combed. Welcome. I wrote in the chat. Well, or you can also cold. say well groomed. Well groomed, which means 
um, well groomed is like I'm saying um, bien acicalado. Well groomed. <laughs> okay, well, 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 yeah, well, well, well combed is like bien well peinado, and well groomed is bien acicalado. Well groomed. Well groom, all right. I I don't I I don't well, say the correct well, pronunciation. Well groom. Yeah. Correct. Well well groomed. Well called. All right. I need but this well groom. Room is a the living room. Mm. Well groom. No mm. groom is no. It, it has other meanings, like a groom, but groom, it puede ser el novio de, el novio que cuando se va a casar. That can also be a groom, but... In the wedding day. Well, groom. Groomed as an adjective is acicalado, acicalado, o acicalada. Okay, well, groom. Acicalada. The second expression, teacher. Yeah, groomed, well groomed. Bien acicalado. Well groomed. The other one, well, well combed, comb is peinado, mm -hmm. right? It's comb is peinado. So, well combed is well, bien peinado. All right. There we go. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Finish? So, well, uh, mm, no, now. Uh, or continue. Yes, sure. She has mm. her curly black hair. Show their length, length, and looks pretty and is tiny in the skin. For fair number four, the first. Number four, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> and number two, the, ay, como se dice? Ay. <laughs> Next to next to the the, the woman elder e elderly yes elderly yes elderly elderly correct elderly mm -hmm. elderly okay thank you you're welcome okay um she black skin uh, okay. we need a verb there we need a verb not she black skin because we need a verb like in spanish you say ella tiene pe piel oscura okay she have black skin okay have is correct but remember with she you say she have or she has I'm sorry. Okay. He has black skin. Perfect. Thank you. And he has um, looks handsome and happy face. He he looks handsome or he is handsome. But you cannot say he is looks. You say he is handsome, el es guapo, o el se mira guapo. One of the two, right? Okay. He is handsome and he have hair. He have or he has? He has mm -hmm. hair, hair curly black. Black clear, curly hair. Yes. 
Ok. Con 10, más con 8. Eh, ondulado es wavy. Entonces sería, she has wavy. Ajá, wavy. Wavy hair. Wavy hair. En la next. Me preguntaba eh, cómo se habían ido de ustedes dos. Ya me di cuenta que se quedaron en la sala principal. <laughs> Ay, Dios mío. That's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Yo tenía problemas con mi micrófono, por eso. That's okay, don't worry about it. And the important thing is that you, that you, um, okay. that you do the exercise. Okay. Sí. Es que, y me preguntaba, yo decía, qué raro que los dos no, no se han unido, decía yo. Quizás los dos, los dos casualmente tuvieron problemas con internet, dije yo, pero no me da cuenta. Ok, all right, guys. Um, so, you had a little bit of practice with the um, description. Um, any questions, any problems that you are having with the description? Okay, the, I think the biggest problem that I saw in general when I was visiting the different groups is that um, you are having trouble using the correct verb. So we cannot just, we can't say for example, he black hair. We need a verb, right? You can't just say el pelo negro. We have to say el tiene pelo negro. The same thing in English, right? So you're going to have to say, he has black hair. And if we are describing one person, we're going to use has, not have, but has. He has black hair, not he have black hair. And if you're, if you're talking about, uh, for example, opinions like handsome, gorgeous, pretty, beautiful, you're going to be using the verb be. So when you're saying he or she, you're going to say he is handsome, she is pretty. Um, now, if you're talking about two people, then you can say they are gorgeous. They are gorgeous, but we're still going to be using the verb to be, okay? When we're talking about um, skin color, you're going to, the most common is to use a uh, have. So he has um, dark skin, she has fair skin, etc. etc. Okay, that's the most common. Um, so be careful with that. The other thing is don't combine because don't say he is half, he is half. No, it just he is or he has, but not the two things together. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. There you go. Okay, um, so I'm going to share right now the PowerPoint presentation. Um, I just got, want to make a, a, a review of what we have seen so far. Tell me when you can see the PowerPoint presentation. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, you can all see it, good. Yes. Just give me a moment. Teacher, could you please, uh, after class, could you please the presentation after class? You mean send the presentation? Yes. Yeah, sure, I can do that. Teacher, I can say, uh, oh, can I say her eyes are brown? Is correct. Her eyes are brown yes. or her 
in is a fair I can it's correct so could you read the last sentence for me uh, can I say uh, for example her eyes are brown or her skin are fair no, it's correct. Her, her skin are fair? No, because skin is singular. Uh, it's, so her skin uh, her is, is fair. Is, is fair or pale? I see. Oh, yeah. Her skin is pale. Yeah, that's also possible. Yeah. If you, if the, um, if, if, if we're going to start with the subject as the skin, yes. La piel oh. es. Oh. La piel es morena. La piel es oscura. La piel mm -hmm. es clara. Right? Oh, yes. So if you're going to say, él es, okay. or, or, or you, basically you don't say, él es piel, él, for example, you don't say, él es piel clara. You usually say, él tiene piel clara. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. All right, so we're going to look here where, where this is, um, we're, we're continuing talking about appearances. Um, your facilitator, you know, is Jessica Guerrero. Today is day number 10, and today is Tuesday, February 9th, 2021. Okay, so just um, a review of what we saw last class. This is a simple review of last class. Okay, so this is some of the vocabulary that we saw. Okay, uh, I explained that with, with talking about hair, we use have. Talking about age, we use B. Talking about looks, we use B. Talking about height, we use B. This is, we talked about the vocabulary for the skin. And here we some, saw some expressions, medium length, shoulder length, wavy, spiky, tousled, all of the uh, long, curly, blonde hair, shaved head. All of this refers to hair. Any questions about this vocabulary here, about hair? No question, teacher. No question. Okay, we also saw uh, that this goatee is referring to when men have um, um, like the mustache here, and then it comes all the way down with a beard just like right here. So around the mouth, there is a beard, right? And a mustache, that is a goatee, okay? Then we have, then here we're describing the age. You can say in his 20s, in his 30s, in his 40s, or in her 20s, in her 30s, or in her 40s, right? That's like when you're saying, ella está en sus 20, en sus 40, en sus 50, etc., etc. Then we can talk about um, opinions, like the person is cute, right? Es bonita, es tierna, eh, gorgeous, beautiful, ugly, average. Then we have average height. Average height is um, um, the like you know the height that is not it's not so tall, it's not very short, you know it's like in the middle, okay? And normally we're gonna use be or have. So that's what we saw yesterday. Any questions about this? No questions. Okay. So this is clear. It's clear. It's clear. Yes, teacher. Pregunto porque no quiero no quiero continuar a un próximo eh, tema o, o continuar con el tema si no está esto claro. Entonces pregunten por favor, aunque los demás hayan dicho que sí, 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 y usted todavía tiene una pregunta, tiene una duda, por favor no se me quede atrás de decir, ah, sí, 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 solo porque otros dicen que sí. How I can say, can I say, Eh, canoso. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's a very good. Um, that's a very good 
word. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I forgot about that word. And yeah, very good. Um, anybody know how to say canoso? You say gray hair. Okay, gray hair. Which literally means in Spanish, pelo gris. Okay, any other questions? And thank you for asking. Teacher. Yes. Is correct to say she has in her forties. No. No, because in age we use the verb be. Here is age, right? Age. Okay. So with age we use be. Okay. Good question. Teacher, I have a question. Uh, the person, the skin. Muy oscura. You can say, you can either say that they have brown skin, like here, or black skin, like here. So it depends, right? Um, in El Salvador, I would say that the person has brown skin. I People don't have black skin in El Salvador, right? So this is brown skin. Okay, and if, if, if they are African American, then you can say they're black skin. Or, or if they're African, they would be black skin. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Any other questions? All right, so now that we've seen that, th that was just like a little review. I have one question. Let me... Oh yeah, go ahead. Um, it's correct to say very fair skin. Mm, yeah, oh, or I think, let me go back to this. I think I, um, I may not have put it here. No, I didn't. Okay, there's another one that you can use. Uh, fair skin is also uh, possible to, the same thing to say fair skin or light skin. Okay, so that's another way to say it, light skin. And so I would say that if you wanna say very, very, I would recommend that you use light. So very light skin, but um, most of the time it's, if it's very light skin, it's probably pale. Yeah, so it kind of like, you, you know the actress Nicole Kidman? Yeah. Okay, Nicole Kidman, her skin is very, 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 very light. And that's what we call pale skin. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then light skin or fair skin is somebody that like, like in Buen Salvadoreño, you say chele. Okay. Like you chele, teacher. Sorry? Teacher, in the caso de, hola. Yeah, I'm listening. En el caso de las personas que tienen eh, mucha vellosidad en los brazos, ¿cómo se describe? Okay, could you ask in English? Okay. A 
ask me that question in English. Um. You say you said in el caso de so in English in the case that. Or in the case of mm -hmm. so to oídos. Go ahead and ask me. Did somebody want to help her with the question? Please, how we can, can say you? peludo in English? <laughs> yeah, in, in, in very in simple terms, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, peludo. Okay, how do you say peludo in English? Yeah, good. Okay, um, that's a very good question. And you say the word is hairy. Okay, the person is hairy. So if you're talking about the arms, you say hairy arms. Can you spell it? Sorry, what was that, Lorena? Can you spell, spell the word? Hairy. Can you spell the word? Spell. The word hairy. What? It's spell, right here. Spell, please. I, I, I spelled it here. Yeah, peludo. That, that word. How do you spell it? Can you spell, please? No, no están viendo el, 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 la, la, la imagen. I, I don't know. What it yes. Is. Yes. It... I spell, uh, it's right here. Aquí, aquí lo estoy escribiendo. In the last, in the last line. H, H, A, I, I, Y. Yes, correct. Uh-huh. Okay, you, you pronounce that? You pronounce it hairy. Hairy. Like hair. Hairy. Pelo, right, hair. Hair, but you just say hairy. Hairy. Okay, so you can say hairy. And I think, <laughs> and I think say Chewbacca. Hairy is king. <laughs> <laughs> Um, maybe not skin, <laughs> but you can say different parts of the body because hairy skin would mean that all the skin has hair. And, um, like that would be gorilla. A little bit weird. <laughs> yes. Yeah, like, like, like on the face. I mean, everybody, like, o sea, en, en realidad todos tenemos pelos en todo el cuerpo, la verdad de todo, ¿verdad? Con la excepción creo que de las de las palmas de las manos y, y, y los y los las plantas de los pies. Pero en realidad todos tenemos vellos por todo el, 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 el toda la piel. ¿verdad? But we don't see it. So if, if you say hairy skin, it, it kind of sounds a little weird because that'd be that also in the face, you know, in the in the neck, you know, and that would not work. Um, yes, um, it, Mauricio put various arms, um, it's not very commonly used, um, I mean, it does exist, but it's not commonly used, the most, the most common is to say hairy, hairy, hairy arms. Mm -hmm. Chair, sorry, a uh, question, um, for example, um, Cuando tienen um, with many moles, is correct to say lunares, lunares, muchos, o, o lunares oh, en la moles. moles. Yes, moles, correct. Moles, esta se no, pequeña esta cosa. <laughs> moles, yes, lunares. Mm -hmm. Moles. And and we and we also call it like when it's on the face when the mole is on the face and it's in a part of the face that makes it look beautiful 
like there are some people that have a mole here for example yeah and then you call that you call that a um a beauty mark that's what we call, we call it a beauty mark when um when it makes a person look beautiful that that mole okay uh, beauty mark okay um, we can also have freckles freckles are um, what do you call them in Spanish freckles um, pecas no pecas pecas freckles or pecas mm -hmm. So we can have pick, uh, freckles or another word that is common, like another thing that's common is dimples. When the person, dimples are when the person smiles and normally they have like, right here, they have like these holes that go inside, right here, like that's a dimple, right? So they, they smile and then the, the dimples make, or also there's some people that have a dimple right here too, right? Okay, and that's, that's a dimple. Mm -hmm. In the, okay. What is it uh, in the, Spanish? Oh, another lie in the main in the India. Huh? In the Indian, uh, the old the old woman has a phrase phrase class. Tiene un lunar aquí en la frente. Oh, Freckles. no, no, no. Lunar is mole. Lunar is mole. And freckles are pecas. And dimples son... Um, I can't say my dimples in Spanish. Camanances. Camanances. Yes, camanances. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Okay. Yes. The expression eyes. I don't understand the question, Noemi. Um, the per the expression eyes. Um, the face. The expression. The expression. Ask me what what do you want to ask? Ask me in Spanish. En el caso de las personas que tienen la expresión de una mirada, este, que sus ojos son grandes y alegres, y el, en el caso de los que son chinitos y se parece como si estuvieran siempre con sus ojos como cerrados, cómo expresamos tiene que sus ojos son chinos o es así de expresivos, como decimos, porque en español nosotros le encontramos como decir, pero en inglés. We could say expressive eyes, expressive, son expresivos, expressive eyes. And for the type of eyes that are, they look like they are from, um, from um, Asia, like, China or Japan or or Vietnam, we call those slant eyes. Slant eyes. We have slant eyes. Uh, we can also have. Uh, we can say expressive. Um, we can say big eyes almond shaped almond shaped is um como de, uh, como forma de almendra ojos en forma de almendra uh -huh. o almendrados that would probably be better okay. in spanish almendrados mm -hmm. okay thank you teacher yeah you're welcome um, 
Kamananse is is the one over here. Um, I, I wrote it down here. Dimples. Dimples. Right here. Dimples. That's Kamananse. Dimples. Okay. Um, bef okay. We are almost, well, we, the time has caught up to us, but before, um, before um, I, I let you go, I want to show you some questions. I was going to, um, I was going to show you um, some expressions of how to answer these questions. So I'm just going to do this very quickly. Uh, these are some questions that you can ask when you want to know about somebody's appearance. Okay, so when we want to know somebody's appearance, we would say, for example, what does he or what does she look like? Okay, and como se mira? Como se mira él o ella? Como es, verdad, apariencia? And what we can answer, for example, uh, we can say he or she is tall. Okay, um, we can say uh, he or she is gorgeous or you know what, or gorgeous. Okay, um, and so on. I mean, um, these are just some ideas. There are more, obviously, but these are just some ideas. Okay, um, or we can ask, does he or she wear glasses? Okay, does he or she wear glasses? And you're going to say, yes, he does. Yes, I'm oh, sorry. So we say, yes, he or she does. Or no, he or she doesn't. Okay, so um, that is asking about um, the glasses. You understand glasses, right? Everybody understands glasses? Lentes. Yeah, teacher. Exactly, lentes, right? Okay. Um, Ella lleva puesto lentes. It, it's a yeah, question, it's right? It's a question. So it would be, um, lleva puesto lentes? Ella lleva puesto lentes? And then the person says yes or no, right? Okay. All right. And how old is he or how old is she? Um, oh, wait a second. I, I wanted to mention something. Um, um, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so that we can fit more vocabulary here. Um, uh, oh, too small, too small. Okay. Oops, not too big. Okay. Um, can you can you see this, or is it too small? Is that okay? Can, can I see, see, teacher? I can yeah, see. Okay. Yes, we can. Okay. All right. So we could say um, he is tall, he is gorgeous. Um, we can also say uh, the person, ha for example, the, the the person has a beard, right? We can say a person has a beard. Um, or a mustache, okay, so we can say, um, he has, hold on, he has a beard, he has a beard, he has a mustache, he has, um, um, a, you know, red hair, etc., etc. Then we can say, ask about the age, how old is he or she, how old is she or she? And we can say, for example, 
Um, he is about 32 years old, or it's simply, he's about 32, okay, um, él, él es, tiene como 32 años, como 32, right, so approximately, right, um, or we can also talk about age, I told you yesterday that it's also possible to say, for example, um, in, in his 20s, and his 30s, we can also say she is she is in her um, early or mid or late fifties, um, for example, fifties. Okay, ella in her early fifties está en en los um, los cincuenta, pero uh, al principio de los cincuenta. Mid 50s is like a medio de los 50, like 54, 55, 56. Late 50s is like al final de los 50, right? So like 58, 59. Okay. How tall is he? We can talk about the height saying, like, um, for example, how tall is he or how tall is she? She is um, 5 feet uh, 4. 5 feet 4 is 4 pies. Con cuatro pulgadas, cinco, cinco pies con cuatro pulgadas, or he is, um, uh, for example, he is a, um, he is one meter, um, he is one meter eighty eight, or he is, yeah, or eighty three, let's put, okay, he's no one. Meter eighty-three. Okay, um, we can we can. Volume right pulgadas. You say inches. Okay, so he is five feet. Sí. So five feet four inches. You can say inches. Okay, pulgadas. Okay. Uh, okay. How long is his or her hair? We can say that it's. Um, I I I told you before mid. Um, uh, she, she has um, shoulder length hair. Okay. Shoulder length hair. Okay, um, so hasta los hombros, right? Shoulder length hair. Okay. Um, what color is his or her hair? Uh, you know, we say, for example, um, she um, is gray. We can say she is gray haired. Ella is um, pelo canoso. No, ella tiene pelo canoso, sino que ella es pelo canoso. What color are his or her eyes? You can say she or he has he has hazel ha hazel eyes hazel eyes um, uh, hazel es un es, es un color como eh, entre puede combinar es un color que combina como café verde y a veces un poco como de gris okay o lo que ya a veces um, en, aquí en el Salvador le dicen creo que oh, um, and what what color is his or her skin? We can say, for example, um, she is light light skinned. Okay, ella, ella es ella um, es um, piel clara. Right, or you can say he has dark brown skin. El tiene piel, o el tiene, el tiene la piel, o el tiene piel um, café oscura. Okay, all right. So no aplica go. morena. Uh huh. There you go, guys. That's it. That's the vocabulary. Okay, um, I'm going to send you this vocabulary uh, through the WhatsApp 
like I better said like I'll t send you the the PowerPoint so you can have it okay so that's gonna be all for today and I'll explain the homework in the whatsapp group okay so that's it guys take care and I'll see you tomorrow take care see you tomorrow teacher, teacher. See you tomorrow see you tomorrow, see you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow.